Welcome to part two of uh, my Buck River custom ptarmigan, but uh, the modified version. Okay. Okay. Uh, as I was uh, talking in my first part, I spoke about the uh, the technical specs of uh, the this knife and. Uh, I let the knife pose a while in front of the camera like a runway model okay and uh, so if you want more of uh, this knife here it is okay okay nice uh, curves and shape uh, okay uh, pretty knife uh, very beautiful knife uh, especially uh, after my uh, handle modification uh, of course in my opinion <laughs> okay um, uh, the original length of this knife is uh, seven and a half inches and after the shortening uh, the modification of the handle it is now uh, 6.6 .6 inches and um, the balance of this knife is now on the turquoise uh, spaces as we can see let me do a balance yes okay so the balance is on the turquoise spaces, uh, which is just nice. Okay. Uh, previously, when uh, the the handle is uh, longer, uh, almost an inch longer, uh, with a bulbous uh, end, uh, the balance of this knife was uh, very handle heavy which is uh, not to my liking. The balance point is around uh, here, which is uh, very far back, okay? Um, but now, uh, this knife is uh, very balanced uh, in the hand. Uh, this knife has um, a very good uh, handle ergonomics now. Um, okay, um, let me uh, just show you how it uh, feels uh, in the hand. Okay, I can do a four finger grip on this knife, hold it uh, like this, like this. Uh, the I can put my index finger on the choil like so uh, normal grip uh, for the chest uh, lever cut I can hold it like that uh, notice the blade is the choil is at the first joint of my index finger okay this allows for a natural cut for the chest lever grip okay uh, do not use your chest lever grip in this way okay why because uh, when uh, your knife is positioned this way in your palm, it is very awkward to do a chest lever cut. So, uh, rest it on uh, this part of your index finger. And now, you can just do it naturally. You can put your thumb, okay? and do this pull the object away 
from to or rather pull the object the stick towards your blade for the chest lever grip okay can do it like this can do it like this okay so uh, it is a great knife um, because uh, it offers um, very good control uh, very comfortable in the hand Okay. However you hold it, uh, it is very comfortable. And because I have shortened the, the handle, uh, uh, my hands are not very big, so uh, I have uh, shortened the handle so much so that uh, I can uh, use a four finger grip. Okay, and also it comes uh, just nice uh, around the near the end of my palm so uh, it allows me a lot of flexibility when cutting I can do this okay notice when I cut in this way okay uh, I can bend my wrist down so if I'm cutting a, a, a fruit or uh, or some meat I can actually um, do it with uh, a lot of flexibility wrist flexibility okay uh, with a handle uh, of the right uh, length and uh, not protruding past uh, the end of my palm uh, it allows for lots of uh, maneuverability okay I can uh, flex my wrist a lot of wrist uh, action and motion okay because uh, the handle is uh, just nice it doesn't extend past uh, the palm okay very good I like uh, previously, when it was shipped to me, uh, this knife uh, came in a left-handed grip. Uh, I was very disappointed uh, initially because uh, the handle was uh, for left-handed people. Uh, however, uh, there's a saying that uh, when life uh, throws you lemons, uh, make lemonade. So, I went on to modify uh, the handle to make it uh, a left, from a left-handed knife, after modifying it, it became a right-handed knife. And I will explain to you uh, further uh, right now about uh, the handle and also uh, how I modified it okay we'll have to go into part 3 for this